Hello you guys. Today I'm going to do a perfume review and I'm actually going to do four perfume reviews um, and I'm going to chop them up into individual videos for each perfume and upload all four of them here on YouTube today. So today I'm going to start with, um, oh, if uh, some of you who follow me on Instagram and my subscribers here and um, also uh, on my Lush -a -Lot Facebook, I had asked, I posted last week asking um, what perfumes, I had a list of perfumes that I had already reviewed and done videos of and then I had another list of perfumes that I haven't, that I have but have not uh, done videos, reviews yet and so I asked all of y'all which of those perfumes would you like to see me review next and then I said that I would pick three um, three the next three perfumes that I review off of the list of what people want and I actually picked four because it, there was a tie <laughs> so today I'm going to start with the smell of weather turning the smell of weather turning perfume and I will also be doing ladyboy and cinders and Lily Seva because those these four got the most requests and so today I'm going to start with the smell of weather turning and this is from Lush for Men on Instagram and so I'll let me start by reading the ingredients here so it says a fragrance hand blended with fine essential oils and we have Oakwood Absolute, we have Bay Oil, we have Beeswax Absolute, we have English Peppermint Oil, we have Mint Absolute, we have Roman Chamomile Oil, and oh that's it. So once again, Oakwood, Bay, Beeswax, Peppermint, Mint, and Chamomile. So it comes, or uh, the one that I got anyway, came in this dropper type perfume bottle, Gorilla Perfume Bottle, and it has the lovely labels on it. These are my favorite bottles and my favorite labels because they're each, uh, each perfume has its own label and art, uh, art on the front versus the perfumes they have now, which all have the same black label and the same font on them. So it's a dropper type. So you can get some and then you can, so you can get some and then you can drop, drop it on your skin like that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a drop on each wrist here. So I'll show you, there's a drop. And then I'm going to do another drop. Hmm. So right off the bat, I mean, they really did, you can smell the mint, first of all. I mean, you can smell the mint. And that oak wood, or did I say oak moss earlier? It's oak wood. Sometimes Lush uses oak moss in a lot of things, but this is oak wood. So if I say oak moss moving forward, I mean oak wood in this case. But, uh, and I, the beeswax in here, the beeswax absolute, which is like the third ingredient in here, um, it, to me it smells like honey. As an undertone and all together, that's what gives this that that sort of scent when there's a storm coming. It's it's almost like an elect like a bit of ozone and sort of a watery aquatic essence and you know that that smell of, of a storm and that's they've really perfectly encapsulated that scent in my opinion anyway. 
uh, in this perfume with the mint, the chamomile, and the oak moss. And, oof, I mean, it's really nice. And I like the subtle sweetness, that sort of resinous almost um, sweetness that that, that that beeswax brings. The fragrance of the beeswax is ever so subtle, but it brings something to the blend so that it doesn't smell so astringent or so um, earthy and herbal. It gives it that slight sweetness. But as it dries, now the chamomile comes more to the forefront. You can still smell the mint. The mint is still there all this time. The wax, the beeswax is taking a sort of a, and the oak moss also is taking sort of a back seat. And now I smell cam more chamomile and mint. It's really nice. I really like it. I mean, it definitely makes a mood, this perfume does. That's one of the reasons why I love it so much. And this one, I have not heard of one person who doesn't like this. Maybe they're just not talking to me and maybe only the ones who, all I hear is, oh my God, I love this so much, I love it so much, and I bought it or I love it so much, I tried it once and I wish I could find it. And so um, that tells me that, you know, it was quite popular. And this was in the uh, Gorilla Series 2 perfume series. So, and it says the name of the perfume at the bottom and the date that it was made, which it was made uh, April 2nd, or excuse me, it was made February 4th, 2015. And it expires February 4th, 2019. And as you can see, I've used a, f a bit. It was uh, all the way filled to the very top when I first got it. So it's a uh, sort of a pale amber color. So that is the smell of weather turning. Um, here's a little bit of trivia. Lush UK makes a bath oil that they introduced in 2015, and they still make it at Lush Oxford Street and uh, I think in other stores at Lush UK. And it, the bath oil is called Oil on Troubled Water. And they used to sell it on the lush.co.uk site but I didn't see it there any longer. Um, I remember I was able to get about six, so I still have a couple left. Oil on troubled water. And you can look that up on my blog at lushalot.com. Just uh, do a search for oil on troubled water and you can see, when you see the look of this bath oil, your eyes are just gonna just pop out of your head. <laughs> so I hope I did a good job uh, reviewing this and describing what it smells like. On the dry down, uh, on the dry down it smells even more sort of aquatic and storm-like because there's, there's, there's a combination of that chamomile and the oak and it makes it smell like, or maybe it's the bay. It's the bay too. It just, it makes it smell like you're, like there's a storm at sea, kind of that smell of the sea and maybe, you know, that slight ozone smell of an, a thunderstorm and, and, and that bracing, you know, it's really nice. So as far as rating on a one to five scale, I would give the smell of weather turning a four out of five rating. Um, it's not your typical 
um, pretty or, or sexy uh, perfume or f you know uh, feminine perfume or floral perfume this is very different um, it's not floral at all it's quite an experience and it just smells like you know like a like the smell of weather turning like when it starts to storm you know so that's my review and if you enjoy this please uh, give me a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel and that way you won't miss any of the upcoming demos and reviews that I'm going to do thanks so much for watching and thanks for your requests and we'll talk to you soon on the next video bye bye you guys